Prairie had a dot had their donuts uh, uh, 3,029, and now they've got 2,500 or 2,600 roughly. Uh, Brooks was down at 40, almost 44, and they've got 35. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and you know why it was, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I don't know where to go with these. I, I have a suggestion. Okay. <laughs> um, because really, you know, these numbers, it's anybody's guess. No, you know, mm -hmm. nobody is going to give us accurate data for those numbers. What about if we change the chart a little bit and instead of doing a population projection, we did it as a, with the current trend, extrapolated out, this is where the population would be in 2030 and 40. You know, with the current level of growth. You mean taking the uh, figures above taking the same percent change in? Yeah. Well, then you're going to depopulate works um, in every yeah. that. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. You know, That's I, true. I look at, I, you know, I've thought about this a lot, and I can see where Croton, because of its water, uh, probably is not, you know, it's going to continue to grow. You know, when the retirees, baby boomers, over the next 10, 20 years. Uh, but then now you look at like Big Prairie, which has a lot of water, but it's not available to build on. Right. You know, with Hardy up there, uh, or Everett Township, which is, you know, not, they don't have a whole lot going on, going on anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just didn't know where to go with it. So I've got no problem with the numbers, Jim. Well, I don't know. I know but I'm outside of being wrong. I mean, no. there's, there's nothing. I don't there. know. Uh, like I said, I just didn't know what to put down. That's why I just thought about it for quite a while and then said, oh, hell, let's, here's something to go on. Okay, listen, All right, here's another question. What would be the downside to say, okay, I think this is all bull. I think the crow is actually going to be on the downside. Your grant money, they look at that and say, well, maybe it's not for that? No, I don't think so. Is it? I think. I mean, we don't know what the next 10 or 20 years is going to bring. I mean, you understand that. You know, all from the 2035, we got the asteroid coming in. It's only going to be 9,000 miles away. Well, you know, I can really change things. But I really don't know. I don't think they pick this apart when they look at grants. All they're looking for is to see if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and keeping things current. I think things are just kind of a steady in the line. But, you know, I would love you guys do something with this. No, it's not like you did your best guess on that. No, there's something on the credit that looks good. <laughs> did that help with it, guys? I'm right behind. I'm right behind, Carl. I don't like it. What was your scientific <clears throat> basis for this analysis? Um, <laughs> so what you're saying is that what you would like to see is instead of your guess, you want our guess. You got it, guys. <laughs> that's why you're
you look at the numbers of Blue and Ansley now, I don't show much. I don't know, 20, 20 more people growing there. In Ansley? Yeah. If by using the percentage, because. And I honestly believe a lot of that reason is because of the township board they had over the last few years. I mean, that place was absolutely crazy over there. Right. Yeah. You know, and I, I think people tend to. I think Nuevo would be a lot bigger if it wasn't for the way that, you know, the 18 mills. I mean, I see businesses leaving Nuevo just going a mile out of town. And that affects the Nuevo census. Yeah. You know, so all that. The person want to leave supply power there. We've upgraded all of our lines going all around Pearson. The dump was actually paid off. So they put a lot of money into that planning on Growth. But if you look at that, you know, you look at Pearson in, in the last 10 years, grew 12 percent. That's substantial growth in the area. You know, this is your population data. I can see why. They, probably there was a need there for that. I don't know. Well, I guess I think it's fine if you. Well, I don't know that I'm, I don't even know if I'm happy with it. Well, <laughs> why I wanted to get well, started. <laughs> why don't you send it uh, on the old one? It says that the U.S. Census and West Michigan Shoreline and Regional Development Commission, which is called Windsor Dick, you don't want to say the whole word, mm -hmm. just shoot them a copy of what you did and say, hey, you got any comments on this? And, well, I thought about that, but then I figured they missed it by so dang much last <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just you know, I, I want some help though, I really do. I don't I don't I agree with Bonnie, it's not worth it. Put some numbers in and let it go. Okay. Well, I'll just put in here think about it. Well, I'm averaging all these numbers and I for some reason cannot read a calculator, but if you average all these out, it's somewhere in the vicinity of 10%. So if we took the average of all this and applied that, it's going to be pretty close to what you have. So yeah, I know that. I, know. That's I think I did that. Then I just, then yeah, I just uh, double second yeah, she guess just added through. your work. So there we go. Yeah, okay, I'm going to think about some more. Maybe try to get some other up. Okay. <laughs> Did you just say you didn't like our opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Additional opinion. <laughs> I did I say that wrong. So on the next page you just updated all the numbers. Uh yeah. Mm hmm And uh, and then put in yeah, the seasonal dwelling number change up there. Yeah. And uh, things like that, and then the uh, table four, of course, the uh, uh, updated. Yeah, you know, where's table four? Seven. Uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, this changed it from 1990 to 2000 to 2000 to 2010, and, and put figures in from the census. And change the percentages, of course, and uh, use the same age group numbers there. And then in the the graph that comes later, uh, I uh, uh, Cardinal always looked at those graphs that I made up quite a while ago, on, and uh, we kind of decided then that we wanted to go with a to do a 10 year breakdown of age, we went with a five year, which <coughs> kind of shows you a little bit more. And, and if you compare that with, with the old one, uh, all it's showing you is that the age groups are just moving 10 years and older. older, pretty much. Or people are moving in 
yeah. for retirement. Right. Yeah. They're moving in, getting set before they actually yeah. retire. But it's also shown me that, you know, once they get out of high school, they're leaving. Mm -hmm. I mean, we walk, you know, uh, you know, some. You know, at uh, 19, we got 200. At uh, 20 to 25 range, we got 126. You know, we we lose those young people, uh, and and I understand why we lose them too. It's your life. Yeah, you know, and then as they get old and retire, uh, they come back home. Maybe I don't know. You know, something. So anyway, I put that that in here. Uh, I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and recalculated the uh, median age of 44, 49 years old. Uh, and, uh, let's see, uh, 65 and over increased 2.4 percent. And then which I would have once previously. If they have, I haven't been able to find them. So 
that pretty much stayed as is. So the 59% and the 36.1 minutes are from the same as the last plan? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't imagine that's changed a whole lot. Well, I wouldn't think so, but I don't. Like I said, I can't. I couldn't find any, anything to update it with. No, I didn't. And the chart moved below. It, I don't really know what, how important this is in the plan. Uh, could travel back to work. I mean, <coughs> you know, probably the majority of the working people go to one of the metropolitan areas or the outskirts of one of them to work. Well, I'll tell you what it just what it just did for me. We're we're going to have uh, there's going to be a small fight over this post office coming up on whether we keep it, whether we close it. And you just told me almost sixty percent of the population isn't even in Croton during the day. I mean, the working population. Well, that's all right. Yeah. So to me, that. That influences what I'm thinking about for next week. So that should influence how people looking at this plan will affect their decision and what they're thinking about later on too. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess I haven't looked at it that way, but you know, yeah, no, I, I think it's good. You know. Because there's, you know, a goodly number that you know, if they've got to go to a certain store or business, most of them are going to drive by it or near it uh, in their normal home to and from work or whatever. I suppose I hadn't thought about it that way. Well, and they're not even in this community during the day. No, no. to spend their money. No, they're not. Uh, yeah, yeah, they don't. They don't. Go to a local restaurant for lunch, and, right? Yeah, or you know, run to go to the grocery store or the <coughs> drugstore or whatever on their lunch hour. But that, you know, like I said, I haven't done anything to that. So. Okay, the housing thing.
tried to get all these. Boy, we have a lot of vacancies, don't we? Hmm? A lot of vacant homes. Yeah. I was surprised. Now, the vacant, though, is the difference between the vacant and the seasonal, the actual, like, vacant, vacant, and then the rest of the vacant is seasonal? Right? Uh, That's how it works, no. right? Or it's uh, just vacant, vacant. All right. Total housing units is occupied and vacant. That's the total and then under, see they're offset, you got occupied, how 